from Santa Clara, California, it's theCUBE, covering Technovation World Pitch Summit 2019. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Now, here's Sonia Tagare. Hi, and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Sonia Tagare, and we're here at Oracle's Ag News Campus in Santa Clara, California, covering Technovation's World Pitch Summit 2019, a pitch competition in which girls from around the world develop mobile apps in order to create positive change in the world. With us today, we have Team Coco from Kazakhstan. Welcome. Uh, the members are um, Dilnaz Kamalova and Malika Buribayeva, uh, Dana Yerlanova and Lubav Duchenko. Welcome and congratulations on being finalists. Thank you. So your app is called Teco. Can you tell us more about it? Yes, uh, so, so Teco is a 3D mobile application which has augmented reality and is connected to the hardware which is dedicated for the behavioral change of people for, so that they can become more eco-conscious and eco-friendly. And can you tell us more about how it works? Yes, of course. Uh, there is Luba who can explain this. Okay. Yeah, uh, so our application is uh, about an astronaut who needs to save the planet. Uh, so uh, firstly, there is a game in which a person needs to save the, your, uh, his, vir his or her virtual Earth by solving some ecological problems on it so that uh, he or she will be educated about real life scenarios. Uh, also, we have a step counter which tracks your carbon footprint and encourages people to choose more eco-friendly transportation options. Another way we make real impact is that we connect our application with a special uh, eco trash boxes in our city. All their locations are shown on the map. And coming to these places, user will see a, a trash box and then throw the garbage. And then, uh, he, uh, because he has, has thrown the garbage, uh, he or she will get some points and his or her impact will be visualized in augmented reality. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what impact in society do you hope that this app will help change? Um, our app is 3D mobile application and it's a game. That is why gamification and the augmented reality, which is AR, uh, which is inside this game, uh, is more visually and psychologically attractive to people and those challenges that we provide in a game are intensified so that most of the people when they accomplish their goals they might get like have a certain profit out of it so that they can become more eco-friendly and gain benefits. This is how we want to make sure that people might gain, might change their behavior for the sake of ecology. That's awesome. So you're using essentially a game to yes. incentivize people to make better choices yes, in their right. everyday lives. Yeah. That's great. And so how did you come up with this idea? So uh, Malika will explain this. Okay. Uh, actually, there were before some uh, eco trash boxes in our school because like uh, the theme of ecological problems and recycling is one of the most talked about topics in Kazakhstan nowadays. And like uh, in our school, um, the students tried to uh, make these eco trash boxes, but they were uh, always empty because students uh, wasn't uh, incentivized to recycle the garbage. And um, we tested our app in our school and we already launched it in our school. And this app incentivizes our students. And now uh, this uh, eco trash boxes with our hardware are always full. So, yeah. That's awesome. So you already found some success with your app. Thank you. Do you think that, um, that this is a problem in, in the bigger community? Uh, maybe Donna can tell. So we think that we started locally, but we got it to go globally. We think that uh, eco pollution, like uh, pollution, are a global problem, and we trying to solve all over the world. So in our game, we have the whole world that you become an astronaut. So you should be aware for all the problem that was happening in the Earth. So we are uh, trying to engage and educate people to be more global and to be more responsible for our planet and for our home. It sounds like everyone in the world should download that app. Yes. <laughs> um, do you <laughs> hope to um, uh, expand if you get the funding? Yes. Um, we plan to expand not only in our country, Kazakhstan, uh, not only locally, but also globally. And we would like to create the eco-friendly community across Central Asia, since uh, we want to make sure that eco-consciousness is global in our area. 
And what struggles have you faced trying to create this app? Um, probably there were some struggles, and of course, in the realization and the the realization of technical part of this project and creating a business model since we are not very experienced in this kind of things but since we have participated in technovation and we were immersed in this process and we were motivated to uh, motivated yeah and we are motivated to uh, learn all these things and acquire those uh, skills and this is why we became more experienced in this stuff so right now, uh, those struggles that we faced before are not longer a uh, problem for us. So yeah, this is what we faced. So Technovation has definitely helped you improve your app and... Yes, right. Uh, how else has Technovation helped you? Yeah, um, probably someone else wants to answer this question. Uh, how, how has Technovation helped you or what skills have you learned from this journey? Uh, for example, one of the most important skills, I guess, is uh, teamwork. Like, uh, after we started to work on the one project, uh, we started to listen to each other. Uh, Technovation actually uh, helped us to um, understand the opinions of other people and like uh, to understand the problems in our society. We start to dream bigger, to think bigger, wider, kind of that. That's amazing. Um. And also Technovation helped us to explore new companies, to be more um, like an open person, to come to the companies, ask uh, about the help and uh, not uh, like uh, uh, be just like uh, uh, see the problems and uh, trying to solve, trying to find a solution and uh, be the people of the world and uh, be responsible for our planet, for what's happening in our local community and be aware of everything. And um, so I heard you guys had an amazing week. Um, you, you went to Uber, you went to some other places. So yeah. can you tell us more about your week? You want to tell? So uh, we went to amazing places in a Silicon Valley, in a, uh, San Francisco, San Jose, and uh, we so liked it. For example, Golden Gate Bridge and also the Alcatraz. Um, so we are so impressed by their um, architecture, by the people, by the nature, and uh, we just expected a lot of, and we just got this old expectation uh, come to the reality. And uh, we hope that that kind of a dream will come true in our future and we're gonna to work in a, one of the big companies that were located here um, and all the universities so and how is it like going to the different tech companies and seeing it in real life uh, so we visited uber company and google ventures and both uh, we uh, have seen people who work there and we're, we're really impressed uh, and we really like it yeah and uh, I think so. Uh, before, like in my childhood, I dreamed to uh, be uh, to be in Silicon Valley, to go there and like meet people who are work already working it. And now, like my dream came true. That's awesome, and you get to see California, and you you might be able to win today. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so thank you so much for being on. I wish you all the best, and I hope you have an amazing pitch tonight. Thank, thank you. you so much. Uh, this has been Team Coco from Kazakhstan. I'm your host, Sonia Tagare. This is The Cube. Stay tuned for more. Oh.